Hello there! This is Retro Spirits Gaiden, and this is Zivius on the PC Engine. I don't know why I sounded like a cartoon man there, but I did. Uh, this is Namco, and they presenting... They presenting? They are presenting Zivius. And we've got Far Drought and Arcade. Is it Zivius? Zivius? Xevius? Who can say? No one knows for sure. Not even Namco. We've got some Japanese text here. We've got some... Uh, buildings? With questioning tone. Uh, slowly scrolling Japanese text with no music whatsoever. So that's a nice accompaniment. Lovely stuff. This is a Hue card. And its price currently is around 40 English pounds. Uh, which is fairly expensive. It's the cost of a new game. Well, until, until recently, because they've put them up to 70 quid, haven't they? It's the cost of a new Switch game, let's put it that way. Uh, we got some dudes. One of them's got a spaceship stuck to his shoulder and a little man stuck to the other shoulder. And uh, there's a guy there who's petting the spaceship whilst looking at some instructions on how to pet spaceships. Uh, they're sort of standing around idly, chit-chatting. How's the wife? Oh, she's had a leg amputated. Oh, yeah, why is that? Oh, 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 trapped in a weasel's warren. Um, there's a, a spaceship there flying out into the sky, and uh, it's got two bent wings, but no tail. So how's that going to fly left and right? Who cares? Who cares about aerodynamics and science? This is, again, the title screen. It's a 2D shoot 'em up and we have round select round two. Don't know, we've got a Star Destroyer, and we've got a laser cannon, and bombs. Yes, it's a 2D shoot 'em up and it's quite manic. The graphics are what can best be described as basic. They do look a bit like the arcade machine. The spaceship I'm currently piloting doesn't look anything like the Zebus arcade spaceship. But uh, it does on other levels. So this, uh, this isn't a direct arcade conversion, I don't think. I'm not a huge Zebus arcade fanatic, but I don't remember any of this happening. The graphics are, like I said, similar to the arcade in terms of you're flying over like woodland areas and static rivers and you've got the same weapon set you have in the arcade where you press a button to fire and a button to bomb. If you're using a PC Engine joypad with an auto fire button, uh, sorry, auto fire toggle, that's the way to go. Um, if you're tapping out the button, uh, sorry, the bullets one by one like I am here, that's a crazy thing to do, but I thought I'd play it that way. Uh, just to spite myself really, So I hate myself so much. Uh, I like to cause, cause myself physical pain whilst playing video games, which should be a joyful experience, shouldn't it? Uh, but not for me. No, for me it's like flagellation. Oof. Um, I don't know what happened there, I went a bit uh, off-piste. But you basically, you shoot shit uh, and bomb stuff. And in this version of the game, you can power up. As you can see, I've got uh, four-way bullets. Which I don't think, I don't think ever happened in the arcade. A Xevious, Xevious, Xevious expert will be able to tell me whether that does or not. And I think that's probably what differentiates this mode from the arcade mode, which was the other one that you saw on the title screen. But, what I will say about this game is, I find it very enjoyable. In comparison to the arcade machine, which was, like I say, back in the day, I kind of, I think I've said this before on the channel, I really kind of ignored it, and it wasn't for me. Uh, but this version, I'm finding pretty fun. It's a bit harder than the arcade machine. There's much more stuff flying around. Uh, the addition of power-ups does make it more enjoyable in my opinion. Um, and the arcade mode that's on here, I don't think it's a conversion of the arcade machine. I think it's uh, another kind of take on Xevious, Xevious, 
Xevious, uh, using the arcade uh, rule set and sort of graphics, but not a identical representation of the arcade machine in any way. As far as I can tell, but then I'm not an arcade Xevious expert, as I said. I used to steer well clear of it in the arcade because it was um, well, just a bit ugly for your money when I could be playing our type instead. But on the PC Engine, uh, I'm enjoying this game immensely. Um, so yes, like I said, it's 40 quid. The music is more interesting than the arcade machine. The, ar the arcade machine, from what I remember, was just plinky, plinky plonky. This one does seem to have at least an attempt at a tune, which is lovely. Um, and despite the high volume of enemies and bullets, it's quite generous with some special lives. And it's sort of doable, really, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. There's some random stuff that happens which I don't quite understand. Like, uh, at some points you get like two things that kind of stick to you. I don't know what that's about. Now, uh, there's different spaceships at the end of the uh, like a stretch of game time uh, which you can destroy different shapes there's like a gun emplacement on one of the levels and then like a standard sort of Xevious battleship on another one so yeah it's a bit random if you are aware of what happens in Xevious 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 and <laughs> I'm going to say that there's the three ways every single time because I don't know how to say that word. Maybe I should just call it Shooter A. These black things that come down the screen that fire multiple bullets at you are irritating. Oh, here's a standard uh, uh, shooter uh, shooter game number one boss, or whatever I said I was going to call it. Xevious, Xevious, Xevious. Uh, I can't seem to kill it though. I think I've got to bomb the glowing bits. I've got to get more bombs right down its glowing orifices. Oh, it's just going to sod off. Well, screw you, buddy. That may be a boring for you, but that was a difficult fight for me. Um, didn't care, though, did he? He just went. Did not look at me. You're ineffectual with your shooting prowess. I'm getting out of here. So. Yeah. Did I do, uh, the one thing I often wonders is, is, is it possible to destroy these rotating blocks that fall down the screen? Um, I haven't been able to do it yet. I don't know if it's even possible. Right, so that was, as far as I know, Foul Drought. Far Drought. Far Drought. Uh, what we have, what's happening here? Oh, we've got Star, Star Destroyer. Uh, we've reset the game. And we're going... No, we're... Going reset the game. Yeah, the front end's a bit torturous on this. Um, uh, let's go. Let's pick the arcade. Pick the arcade one. Go on. Pick the arcade. Go on. Do it for me. Yeah, baby. That's right. Arcade version all the way. So here we've got the. I think this is the Xevious spaceship from the original arcade. And here's the plinky music. Yeah. So it's got the plinky music from the arcade. This level layout is not the same though, is it? Hey. Hey, you arcade experts out there. Uh, same enemies, same plinkiness, but not the same layout, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Please let me know via postcard or carrier pigeon. Uh, but yes, I'm enjoying this game immensely. Uh, the arcade version had a vertically oriented monitor, so you had a lot more vertical space. This one's a bit more difficult because it's horizontal. But it still plays a nice shoot 'em up game. And I kinda of like the old school stylings. I actually do you know what? As I've got older, I kind of appreciate games like 1942. And this a bit more. Um I was a bit harsh on it back in the day, I feel. But now, yeah, I kind of enjoy it. So there we go. It's a 40 quid Hue card. And um I've had a lot of fun with it since I bought it. I wouldn't say I'm an expert. Uh, that's it, I can't clock it yet. But it is a cool game. So, uh, yeah, I do recommend it if you can deal with the kind of low-end graphics and sound. It's a fun shooting game. And what more do you want for 40 quid? 
Because, you know, you could probably buy Zelda Breath of the Wild for that much money. And um, that's obviously got a lot more going on in it. But can you shoot uh, geometric shapes made out of 16 by 16 pixels in that game? Do you have naive looking drawn trees that aren't drawn in the proper perspective for where you're viewing them from? Absolutely not. So if you want that stuff, get Xevious. And if you want something which isn't that, go and buy something else. Alright then, recommended by me. See ya!